Hey everybody, this is Dan from Mechanical Malarkey. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the hood release cable on a 2002 to 2006 Toyota Camry. These are the tools you'll need to change your hood latch cable. You'll need some sort of trim prying tool, a tool to remove some trim clips, and a 10 millimeter socket. It will also be helpful if you can remove the left front wheel, but you can also probably work around that if you can't. The hood release cable on this car has seen some better days. It is no longer attached to the lever that's supposed to open it. And at the actual latch, the previous owner has rigged it up with a zip tie to actually pull it. So the cable is supposed to be clipped into the bracket on the latch itself right there, but it must be seized inside there because it's pulling the entire release mechanism. So if it's attached there, take it off of there. And now there is a ball on the end of the cable that is hooked into there, so you need to get that off of there. The previous owner also zip tied the cable onto these two spots here. It's not exactly how it's supposed to be run. It's supposed to be on the other side inside of here. There's a clip here you can see the outside of here. So I'm going to cut these zip ties so I have some more free play in the cable. So now with the cable loose, we can unhook it from around the hook on the mount there. Basically the way the cable is attached to the latch is it hooks in like that inside there so you just slide it out the slot. Because the cable runs through this fender area, we want to remove this fender liner so we can get access to it. There's a 10 millimeter bolt right here. Over here there's a clip. Pull out the middle and it comes out. I'm guessing based on age this entire thing will just break. And it actually came out. There's another 10 millimeter screw here. And then three Phillips screws here. There are a few other spots that there should be clips that are already missing on mine. Just look around and see what you might have missed. These Phillips screws are actually part of these special clips so they don't just pop out very easily, but I can move the fender liner down far enough that we can get to the cable. You can see it right there. So check along the length of it, see if there are any clips. I'm not seeing any here, but that might just be because things are broken due to age on this car. So check your own car. Now let's get it out from the interior side. So the cable runs from here, goes down a little bit and then up. So we need to take this piece off. So first this comes off. Stick a trim tool underneath, pry it up. Broke one of the clips. Broke that one. If you want new clips, you can usually find assortments online or in car parts stores. There's supposed to be some sort of nut on that stud. It's already missing on mine. Pop that off. So you can see that the cable runs through the firewall up there and loops under this wiring harness and up to the lever. It's already disconnected from where it's supposed to be inside here. So we can pull this out through here. And it goes behind these harnesses and then to the firewall. So now we can pull the cable through from the interior. And if it's disconnected from everything on the front side, we can pull it through here as well. Just take note of where exactly it runs. Get your new cable, and it should be obvious which end goes which direction, because this is the grommet that goes into the car. Also, the ends are different. One has a ball, the other has more of a cylinder. This side goes on the interior. 
So we'll feed the ball end back through where it came. You can reach in from the front side to grab it. While we're down here in the fender, we'll feed through the passenger compartment side. And the way the grommet works, it's supposed to have the sheet metal between these two parts here. So we got that stuck in the body like that. Now we can put the fender liner back up and start working on connecting the ends. So the cable coming up from the fender liner now needs to go through right here. Try not to bend it too much and kink it. So now we need to hook the cable into that hook right there, and then clip the cable onto this. So now the inside, cable's coming in. Then need to route it behind these wiring harnesses. and then clip it in right there. And don't forget to put these trim pieces back in. You can check that the cable's working by latching it with a screwdriver and then pulling the cable. It takes a bit of force though. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Follow me on social media on Facebook and Instagram and read the blog at mechanicalmalarkey.com. Thanks for watching.